a couple of verses today. One from 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 10. It says, But by the grace of God I am what I am, and His grace to me was not without effect. No, I worked harder than all of them, yet not I, but the grace of God that was with me. Yet not I, but the grace of God that was with me. And then from Galatians chapter 2, verse 20, Paul tells us that it's not him that is living and breathing and working it is Christ. It, Galatians 2.20 says, I have been crucified with Christ, and I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. The life I now live in the body, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Paul tells us that there is no reason for us to boast or be proud or arrogant about the life that we live, uh, about any victory over sin or any of the blessings that God gives us or the, the grace that we experience in our lives. Uh, it is all because of Christ living in us. We believe that the Holy Spirit comes and lives within the believer, the one who is following Christ. And so Paul says, it's no longer I that live, but it's Christ living in me. So anything that we do, any good deeds, anything that, that may get us a pat on the back or give us uh, accolades or uh, anything that might uh, produce arrogance or pride in us, needs to be given to the Lord and, and, and the, the glory and, and praise be given to Him because it's Him working in us. Those who, who teach Sunday school and, and do it well, it's because of Christ living in them. Uh, those who are able to, uh, to, to witness to people and to bring uh, people to a, a point of, uh, of salvation and faith, uh, they are being used by God, but it's God working in them and through them. Um, those who are encouragers, it's, it's, it's because Christ is, is working in them and through them. Uh, those that are, are able to, to deal with, with health issues and, and, and still be, be positive and, and trusting God through all of those things, it's because of Christ living in them, and it's His power that is at work in them. Uh, so Jesus has given, uh, given us grace. He's, uh, he's given us everything that we could ever need. Uh, he's given us uh, his, his righteousness, and He gives us joy and freedom, um, gives us peace, gives us so many things uh, as a result of uh, as to who he is in his grace, um, but it's not uh, it's not anything that we have done. Uh, it's because of of Christ and what he has done. Um, and so uh, even in the dark times, uh, we can walk through those times because he I is with us. And we don't have to to worry about the future. We don't have to worry about eternity. We don't have to worry about death because uh, Christ lives in us, and, and we uh, can have that hope uh, of, of resurrection of the body and, and the hope of life everlasting in, in the presence of God. And uh, so we don't even, we don't have to fear uh, death or anything else that comes. Uh, but uh, we want every breath that we take, every breath that we take, everything that we do, uh, to to be about you know, following Jesus, and that is what uh, He desires from us if we will uh, continually submit to Him. So uh, this song is called Yet Not I, But Christ, But Through Christ in Me. 
yet not I, but through Christ in me. So this is just a, a good reminder that it is Christ working in us. Um, you know, a lot of Christians have been accused of having this arrogant, holier-than-thou um, mindset and attitude, and, and quite frankly, I've seen that. Uh, I've been in ministry for 25 years, and I, I've seen that sort of arrogance, but I've also seen so many who lovingly serve, who lovingly allow Christ to uh, be shown in them and that they uh, they don't take any credit for anything that, that they do. It's all to Christ. And so, um, so I just encourage you to make sure that uh, in everything, we don't, uh, we Christians don't get get big heads and arrogant because uh, w- God is, has worked in our lives. If it wasn't for His grace, then where would we be? We would be, we would be lost. So uh, re- remember that it's through Christ in you and in me, and all the glory goes to Him. So, yet not I, but through Christ in me. What gift of grace is Jesus my Redeemer? There is no more for heaven now to give he is my joy my righteousness and freedom my steadfast love my deep and boundless peace to this i hold my hope is only jesus for my life is wholly bound to his oh how strange and divine i can sing all is mine yet not i but through christ in me the night is dark but i am not forsaken For by my side, the Savior, He will stay. I labor on in weakness and rejoicing. For in my need, His power is displayed. To this I hold, my shepherd will defend me through the deep valley he will lead oh the night has been won and I shall overcome yet not I but through Christ in me no fate I dread I know I am forgiven the future sure the price it has been paid for Jesus bled and suffered for my pardon and he was raised to overthrow the grave to this I hold my sin has been defeated Jesus now and ever chains are released I can sing I am free and not I but through Christ in me with every breath I long to follow Jesus for he has said that he will bring me home And day by day, I know He will renew me. Until I stand 
with joy before the throne. To this I hold, my hope is only Jesus. All the glory evermore to Him. When my race is complete, still my lips shall repeat, yet not I, but through Christ in me. When the race is complete, still my lips shall repeat, yet not I, but through Christ in me. Yet not I, but through Christ 